Hi everyone, my name is Shohini and I'm the program manager at Academically looking after the OPRA preparation course. However, once you clear your OPRA examination, the next step will be your intern pharmacist examination. And that is one of the most important steps that you must take for getting the full and final registration in Australia. So let us look ahead, ki iska kya step hota hai, kaise exam liya jata hai and uh, kya pattern aage rahega is examination ka. Now, who all are eligible for this examination? Those who have cleared their OPRA examination and having a, you know, a supervised licensing at this point in time and completed 75% of their internship in Australia, they will be eligible to sit for the examination. And also, often we call this examination as intern written examination, IWE. Now, what is the purpose of this examination? Before they give you the final registration for working in Australia, they will be checking about your knowledge, competence, compliance that you are, you know, getting to know while you are doing your internship. So, once you are full equipped with the working culture in Australia, you can directly go ahead and take up this examination. Now, let us look at the purpose and the overview. I will highlight about the written examination first because it is not only about the, uh, you know, you have to either give the writing examination or the oral examination, you have to sit for both when we are talking about the intern pharmacist or the intern pharmacist program, right? So let us look ahead with the written examination first. The duration of this examination Duration of this examination is two hours and here unlike our OPRA, right, we used to get 120 questions. Here we will be getting 75 multiple choice questions and the cost of the examination per attempt will be Australian in Australian rupees, right, in Australian dollar that is 770. So that is the per attempt uh, fees for this examination and it is one of the mandatory steps before you are proceeding with your oral examination for the intern pharmacist. Now let us go ahead with the eligibility criteria for this written examination. So those who have completed 75 percentage or above from their supervised practice hours, right, they will be eligible to sit for this examination. Also, you must be holding a provisional registered certification with the pharmacy abroad of Australia because you all are currently working as the intern pharmacist there. So once you complete, so in a nutshell, we can uh, take it in that this way that if you have completed 75% of your internship, you are eligible to sit for this written examination. And those who have not met this supervised hours, they have to wait until they complete their 75 percentage of the internship. Before that, if you have booked the examination, they will be validating and they will be asking you to cancel this booking of the examination. So please ensure while you are going ahead with this particular step, you must ensure 75 percent. This is very important. Please make a note of it if you would like to. 75 percentage is something that you must be following. Now let us go ahead. These are the key dates of intern written examination schedule for 2025. If you go ahead and check the pharmacy council's website, right, they will be by default updating for the upcoming for the upcoming year. But let us look ahead what are, what are the dates they have given. So like our, you know, OPRA examination, this particular examination, written examination is also getting conducted thrice in a year, three times. three times, February, June and October. These are the set time period that they will be conducting the examination. And like we all have gone through the similar journey of OPRA, right? The, they will have a dedicated registration period and followed by the registration period, you will be booking for your examination and then you will be waiting for your result. So now we are having this date left for this year. However, on the council's website, they will be super soon updating the dates for 2026. So we can surely look at that. Also, once you complete your written examination, the next step will be the oral examination. 
So we will touch upon this in detail but before that just wanted to highlight on the examination dates. Again this oral examination is getting conducted twice in a year. One is February, June and October. These months are fixed, dates will be changing based on the years. And for that application opening dates are also there and application closing date. Okay. So this is about the overall timeline of the examination. Also one thing, every time you book for the examination, the registration window opens from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. AEST or the Australian time standard. So if you are booking, planning to book your exam after 5 p.m., you might be getting some error on the website. It's better that you follow the official timeline for your booking of the examination. Now let us move ahead. Okay. What is the competency standard that, you know, intern pharmacist written examination will be following? The first thing first, they will give you five domains, right? There are five domains that we will be assessing or you will be assessed upon. Let us look at this. Number one or the domain one is your professional and ethical practices. As you already started working there, right? Their culture and the professional etiquette that you must be following. So they, you will be assessed on that. Coming to the domain number two, your communication and collaboration. So English is one of the important aspects that we should be working day in, day out in terms of making ourselves better. Coming to the domain three, that is your medicine and therapeutic knowledge. Because we will be mostly interacting with the customers coming to the either of the pharmacy shop or the retail shop, right? In the hospital uh, uh, pharmacy. So given that, your knowledge about your therapeutics and medicines are required. Coming to domain four, your leadership and professional development. This is again directly related to your professional and ethical practices and your collaboration, right? So this is more of on the ethical part of it. And domain five is your supply and compounding of medicines. So that means you should be a person who can hold some, manage a certain pharmacy or maybe a overall company altogether. So you will be mainly assessed on these five parameters. Now let us go ahead with the test centers availability. As you all are working there, all these test centers will be in Australia itself. So these are the test centers available for your written examination. So we are focusing on the written examination test centers at this point in time. Your Okay, your major cities will be like Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane and Perth. These are the four major cities wherein you will be getting your test centers. Apart from that, on the regional aspect, you have Adelaide, Canberra and Howard. Okay, and on the northern part of the country, you will be getting Darwin and Townsville. Okay, also all these test centers will have a dedicated capacity for allotting the examination. So plan your exams ahead. That's the only thing we can look at. Uh, examination, booking and everything, the process will remain same the way we have done it for our OPRA. Now let us just focus on the registration I, uh, process. As I was mentioning, we all are well equipped by this time with the Pharmacy Council's website, right? So similarly, you will be accessing your candidate portal. Okay. Then you will be completing your registration form, filling up all the required details, whether you have completed 75% of your uh, internship or not, followed by the documentation that they will be asking. So that's about it. Once done, you have to book the examination by paying AOD 770. That is the examination fees. Once you are done with that, you will be receiving a confirmation on your registered email ID. Also, uh, before I proceed, I would like to highlight one, one second. I would like to highlight on one part. If there is any specific require, uh, you know, requirement for the when you are taking the examination, you can surely mention that before submitting the registration. So that will they will be helping you with a special arrangement. Now this is the. 
this is the format of the intern written examination and very important one this particular examination is computer based that means you will be visiting as we were discussing right you will be visiting the test centers and then taking up the examination so it's a computer based test wherein again pearson view is the uh, designated you know officials they are conducting this examination 75 multiple choice questions from the domains that we have discussed right so you will be getting questions on that which is again complying your clinical knowledge legal knowledge ethical knowledge and pharmacotherapeutic context okay and the time duration is 2 hours here okay within that you have to be you know managing the overall test and completing it also the scoring mechanism is the binary scoring mechanism result will be directly given to you whether you have passed it or you could not clear it like that okay so that's about it let us move ahead now this is the second step of the examination what will happen once you are done with your written examination now you will be moving ahead with the second step of your intern pharmacist program that is the oral examination and a major one here the examination format is bit different you will be taking the exam in the form of remote okay it is not something that you will be visiting some centers and then doing it it will be directly conducted on the remote version and since 2020 it is being conducted otherwise it was earlier 2020 it was a you know center based one and the mode as we mentioned it's a video conference one in person and there will be some uh, personal given from the apcs uh, side so they will be evaluating your knowledge on the again on the same aspect only but here it will be in terms of a communication or a overall you know they, you will be getting some case based scenario that uh, the person who is taking up your examination right he or she will be acting as a patient and you will be given some test case scenario or case based scenario based on their requirement and then you will be evaluated so it is about that and the time limit is 45 minutes more or less 45 minutes you will be done with your examination okay and here the syllabus or the examination focus again is your patient centered care because you will be listening to someone directly and then giving your you know uh, guidance or the prescribed medicine for that your communication and collaboration again an important aspect your legal and ethical compliance is because when you are working there there are certain uh, criteria or the portfolio that you will be maintaining for your patients right so that is there and medicinal safety and decision making ability so this is about your oral examination now what is the next step so here we have seen we have completed written examination first right this is done you are moving ahead with your oral examination with afra directly then once you certify both your in, uh, written and oral you will be getting the option to apply for your general registration with pharmacy board of australia and the end outcome this is what we are looking at right but before like as we see our journey we have started with opra our english proficiency test followed by ui afra registration now the last stage is your entire intern pharmacist preparation wherein your written examination is done oral is done and we are getting our full registration so this is about it also would like to highlight this point your written examination is valid for 18 months now within this 18 months you should be planning for your second step that is the oral part okay yes we have already discussed about it only thing i would like to highlight about the cost of the examination and the frequency the cost of the examination is 750 wherein for my written examination is it is 770 per attempt okay <coughs> and again like we mentioned for the written examination there are limited slots like that for the oral also we have the limited slots and the purpose is the final step for your registration so that's about it
I hope I could help you guys with the information that you must be looking for because after opera क्या होता है हमको क्या करना है क्या नहीं करना है we are not very clear because हमारे इनसे ये एक initiative था कि we wanted to highlight कि intern pharmacist का pattern क्या होता है इसके लिए so I hope I could help you thank you so much guys for joining me today and please subscribe to our channel and stay updated thank you